All right, lots of uh, stars that you saw when they were little kids sometimes are reuniting for a very special holiday TV movie. It's called Blending Christmas. We already had Barry Williams, Greg Brady to talk about it. Now, of course, here comes Haley Duff. And uh, you recognize the director of the movie, uh, Marla Sokoloff, uh, an actress in her own right. Ladies, nice to see you both. You guys have been having fun all morning. We have. Hi, Sam. How are you? Really good. Nice, nice to see you both. Uh, Marla, you ask me, is this like herding cats? <laughs> Um, you know what? They were amazing, especially this one right here. It was not like hurting cats at all. It's, um, you know, they were all just a dream, a true dream. Maybe some days she was hurting us a little bit, but. <laughs> um, here's the thing. There are, you know, there seems to be just this bumper crop of holiday movies. How do you make one distinct from another one? Oh, gosh, that's a great question, because we are, like, very inundated with Christmas um, more than ever, I feel like. Um mm -hmm. I, I, would, I could answer that two ways. One, everybody just loves a Christmas movie with the, you know, standard um, formula and wonderful cast. Love, comedy, yeah, decor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but I would say the one, you know, thing that sets it apart would be, you know, fantastic writing, fantastic cast, and just little nuances to make it different, you know, than your standalone movie. All right, nuances here. We're going to look at a clip in a second, uh, Haley. You're, I, I don't know if it's a choral performance, but you're trying to direct a couple of the Brady boys and a few others, and they seem, at least Barry seems, a little reticent. <laughs> uh, yes, you're talking about uh, caroling, I think, right? Yep, right. yep, some caroling, Christmas caroling. All right, let's watch the clip. Take a look at this. Well, I took the liberty of printing out some of the lyrics. Not that I think you guys need them, but. Old Lang Syne? Yeah, what about it? It's not a Christmas song. Of course it is. It's an old Scottish folk song. It has nothing to do with Christmas. Except for that it's sung at Christmas time. It's sung at New Year's. Okay, we can worry about that later. Shall we begin? Let's go. Good okay. idea. She's right. It's a Christmas song. All right, Marla, here would be the part that would confuse me. Did you call Barry Barry? Greg, or does his character have a different name in the movie? That's yeah, so his funny. character does have a different name. I will admit, like, before I started this movie, I, like, studied every Brady, and just to make sure that did not happen. I don't know if you did the same thing. I did it, not, but I went with your research on it. <laughs> <laughs> did you have, like, a research file on all things Brady? I did, and I watched a lot of episodes. This one is actually very loosely based on, I don't know if you remember that famous episode where they go to the Grand Canyon. So a lot of this was taken from that specific episode, which is not easy to find, by the way. That's like a really undercover episode, but um, I found it. Oh, wow, <laughs> a nod to all things Brady. And then, Marla, here's the other thought that I have, and I, others have made this transition, but you've had a lot of success in front of the camera. And, you know, some actors and actresses are like, I've got to direct. And others are like, it's the hardest job of all. I really don't want to. What 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 made you want to make the move? You know, I just felt like I was ready for something more. I didn't know what that was. Um, I just really um, saw myself pushing myself in a different way. So I took two years off from acting, and I shadowed every director I could and anyone I'd ever worked with and just learned as much as I could before stepping into that role to make sure I really, you know, wanted to do it. And then once I did it once, I was off and running and loved it. Loved every second. Haley, how'd she do? Well, it's such a joy, honestly, to be directed by an actress because she knows how to communicate with you in a different way. She knows how to tell you, ah, we don't want to do this as much as we want you to do that. Or, and you know, there's there's some sugar coating that goes on. <laughs> but with Marla, I felt like she could just tell me anything. We've been friends a very long time, <clears throat> so it was really a dream for me to get to be on set and have her be boss lady. And uh. also, she best like I didn't have to do anything for her like nobody knows this genre better than Haley and she just like <laughs> lights up the screen and she did a great job she didn't need me oh there you go well ladies mutual admiration society nice to see you both people magazine people presents blending Christmas premieres this Sunday December 12th 8 p.m. on lifetime nice to see the two of them together there we go